Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolutions.com with my business partner Tricon Technology. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to write cash flow template. This is a second video in my cash flow. The first video I talked about how to test cash flow template and today video I am going to show you how to write cash flow template. So cash flow as the name indicate the movement or the cash go out or come in in your business to calculate that we use cash flow. It consists of three part operating activities investing activities and financial activities operating activities pertaining to income statement which of which talk about change in account receivable change in inventory change in prepaid uh, change in account payable all these member comes in your operating activities it means the money which you receive through your regular business operation comes under operating activities if you are manufacturing companies selling off your good buying raw material it comes under operating activities in cash investment activities the name indicate it generally invested and long-term assets so the money which you invest probably you buy assets or you purchase capital equipment so all the money or the cash involved into these activities are comes under investing activities and finally your financial activities which consist of your financing how do you finance your business through debt or you take uh, common stock or preferred stocks so increase and decrease in long term debt or issuance or repurchase of your common stock or any change in your activity are captured under financial activities so the calculation starts by creating a outline structure or dimension structure in your underlying application. So how it look like you log into your planning and budgeting cloud service. You can open the dimension structure. You look at over here. There is a separate node called cash flow, which consists of three nodes operating activities investing activities and financial activities as i said operating activity would be your current operation assets change in asset and liabilities so under net income or you can check account payable account receivable change in account payable change in account receivable inventory prepaid all comes under your operating activity you need to design your cash flow hierarchy in the same way the net cash used in investing activity as the name indicate capital equipment purchase chain in your other asset or proceed with your uh, proceed from your asset class and finally your financial activities which is chain in your long-term debt issue or purchase repurchase of the common stock so first you prepare your hierarchy like this the difference between current period previous period and current period in order to capture the cash movement would be stored back into your cash flow and it comes from your net income so step first we figure out a dimension member required to perform calculation in this example in order to perform cash flow I classify this into three category operating activity first we see change in account receivable and the general ledger ID is one two double zero so you can figure it out where does it exist it is part of your net income one two double zero the difference between two consecutive period account receivable total of previous month and current month difference between both account receivable total would be stored over here account receivable total under your operating activities right similarly I captured over here 
change in inventory would be difference between two consecutive periods previous month and current month would be stored over here change in inventory the difference between 1400 for two previous month and current month change in prepaid would also be a difference between your expense account for previous and current month and so on you perform for operating activity for financial activities well i have kept over here the code part of it which you can clearly see change in account receivable would be difference between previous period and current period we use a prior function same apply to inventory prepaid and account payable and so on the second part of this is your investing activities which consist of your capital equipment purchase so the difference between two months previous month and current month gross fix asset account of two previous month and current month would be stored under capital equipment purchase similarly change in other asset would be your other asset account which is 1700 this is the name of the account in your hierarchy of previous period and current period and finally this is a code snipped the prior and current period prior and current period and finally your financing activity is the name it consists of your change increase and decrease in your long term debt which is difference between previous period and current period this is the number you need to know the account number in order to perform cash flow and issuance or repurchase of common stock which is hidden behind the screen which is internal difference between previous and current period common stock account so once you know all the elements involved into your cash flow you are actually ready to write the code so this is a complete part of the code for um uh, cash flow we'll see how to write it completely from the beginning so first i write the code and then we test it in order to test this code we'll associate with data form and we put some sample number and test it you can also watch my previous video cash flow testing so we start with you can log into your planning and budgeting cloud service and open your rules is a graphical user interface and it pops up all the application deployed right now i have only one vision application i can right click and create new rule and i name this rule as test cash flow test cash flow and for which application application type cube type i want to continue to use the same one so as is a graphical user interface you can drag and drop and select all the functions from here you start with set functions and you turn on my intention calculation so a template pops up the beauty of the rule everything is graphical user interface you can select your desired set function for in this example i like to turn on calculate only dirty blocks turn on intention calculation and you can define aggregate missing create block and so on so use a template then i want the calculation to be performed for a specific period scenario and entity therefore um i drag and drop fixed expression member range function which is fixed and you define the uh for which subset of the cube you want the calculation to should be take place should be taken place so i select year as i shown the previous example i created a variable so that we can make our calculation more dynamic you can use a constant as well so when you select year i can define year and select which member or you can use a function or variable i use variable and i use variable over here at application level so this is a year variable user can select the variable value and the value from one point and all your calculation would be turns will be dynamic i use select year scenario i keep it constant i can type it directly it's a plan 
or you can select from this option member you can select from here as well and version also i make it dynamic So I use variable over here for version. Variable, application label, and version variable. I like this calculate to be taken place for a specific subset of entity or, so I, I'm gonna use a nested fixed expression, keep it inside this. And here I can limit my calculation for a specific entity. Right now I'm calculating for topmost parent node. So I select all entity, total entity, total department. And all product. Well, cash flow is not product specific, so you're supposed to select all product total product then i'm going to write a formula expression so drag and drop your formula expression within this two fixed statement and your formula expression is simple as i mentioned here for example we start with operating activity which would be a difference between previous period and current period so this is my target change in account receivable would be difference between prior I can directly select the member one two double zero minus current one two double zero I continue to use the same for other members change in inventory In your design document or your requirement, you get this prior. Your parenthesis is not close. This could be an error between income state and member 1400, change in inventory 1400 minus 1400. And you can continue the same for the members. For now, we save and validate this. No error. And I would be doing the same for other members. So for the sake of, in order to save the time, I did for other member as well and show it to you. And I did the same for the member as well as I shown in my PPT. For operating activities, investment activities and financing activities. This is a whole code snipped. At last, I want the numbers to be rolled up to the cash flow parent. Therefore, I apply Caldim for period, entity and product. Once your complete code is ready, you can validate and deploy and finally associate with your data form. So I validate, no error. I right click and deploy. Let me refresh it. Cash flow test. Right click and deploy. No error. And then we associate with data form and test it. So there's one data form I already created. I show you how it look like before we associate with this. You can open your data form from data, plan, and this is for testing cash flow. And if you look at this, in order to make it easy to understand, I use a member well, I like to use it for entire entity, not for a specific entity. So I change my international sales to total department or no department. 
well i need to check i don't have data for this combination i use different combination all right i didn't refresh it we have data now so this is my data uh, data form where we can actually capture the difference between change in account receivable would be difference between two consecutive period so 8953528 would be difference between january and february right so once you create data form i mean your rule make sure you associate associate with your data form so that you can test it so let me show you how do you do that you can open your data form into edit mode open your form into edit mode this is my data form cash flow plan 2 click on this pencil icon edit this and the last option called business rule there you can select your business rule in my case it is already available over here i remove it and click my test cash flow plan associate with this and click on ok the last step is to test it i prefer to test my calculation in smart view uh, therefore you can see my previous video about how to test cash flow you can quickly test one or two number over here as well so i refresh it and open my data form and test it so let's test one or two members so account receivable total would be difference between your january and february i can test this number through calculator but preferably you should create a test script to do this job so 28287909279 minus 19837399 which is your 8953528 this is your number so change in account receivable would be difference between january and february similarly you can check change in inventory between difference between these two period checking this way it's quite painful job therefore you should use test script minus 6379 993 which is your 63 did i use something wrong change in account receivable oh i think i chosen a wrong number let me do it again so i've chosen a wrong number let me do it again two three it is a difference between inventory of january and february two three six one four six two seven minus one seven one seven two three four six three four which is six three seven nine 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 three so my calculation is absolutely correct this is a simple example of cash flow calculation for advanced cash flow calculation you can reach out to us feel free to write to us to bisp solutions.com thank you